greet you. We greet you in the name of Jesus. Malau Missionary Baptist Church. Denny W. Will is our. Denny W. Henry is our pastor. Today we coming to you live. Praying that you get something out of today's service. But we know that everybody is seeking healing today. So we'll be, I'll be reading to you. 91st song, the song of protection. And we ask you to open your minds and your hearts and be attentive to God's word and let him lead and guide you into all truth, righteousness, and his healing be upon you forever. And it states, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, thou art my refuge and my fortress. And my God, in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowl, from the noise and pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckle. Thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by night, nor for the arrows that fly by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasted at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. For thou hast given his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. Thou shalt I shall bear thee up. Lest he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. Lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt trade upon the lion and adder, the young lion and dragon shall thou trample on the feet. Because he has set his love upon you, therefore shall you deliver him. He shall call upon you, and you shall answer him, for they know your name. The Lord is great. He shall call upon me, and I shall answer him. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, Will I satisfy him and show him my salvation? To the best of my ability, I had you at least recited Psalms 91 in its entirety. God had a blessing to the reading of his word. Let us bow our heads in prayer. Heavenly Father, we come to you this morning, Heavenly Father, just to humble us, we know how. To thank you, Heavenly Father, for all that you've done. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your grace and your mercy. We thank you for the things that you've done. We thank you for the things that you're doing. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the things that you're gonna do. Heavenly Father, we come to you this morning asking for you, that you just bless us, Heavenly Father. Bless the ones, Heavenly Father, that's suffering with the COVID-19 right now, Heavenly yes, Father. Yes, Lord. We ask for a special prayer, Heavenly Father, for our members that's going through this right now. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the traveling grace that you allowed us to come up this morning. We thank you for the men that come together, Heavenly Father, to still do the work of the Lord. Heavenly Father, we ask that you just bless us this morning. Bless us that we may continue to do your good work. Heavenly Father, we ask that you're going to bless the man that's going to preach your word this morning. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you in advance for telling grace that we'll be able to make it back home safely to our little ones, Heavenly Father, to find things as well as we left them. Heavenly Father, we just thank you for the angel of this house, Heavenly Father. We thank you for our pastor. Heavenly Father, we thank you for all the associates. We thank you for this deacon boy, Heavenly Father. We ask that you bless us, Heavenly Father, as only you know how. We ask that you bless this entire church family, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, we ask that you touch the man that's going to preach your word, Heavenly Father. We ask that you're going to hide him behind your cross that we may see less of him and more of you. For it's in Jesus' name that we do pray. Oh, glory, glory.
Amen. Since I laid my burden down. Amen. Uh, I mean, know that God will fight your battles. Amen. Uh, things we worry about, it's out of our hands that God knows all about. Uh, and a lot of times we worry for nothing keep us up all night long mm -hmm. uh, and God is still in control yes, to our pastor uh, the other cross bearers and brothers here deacons uh, preachers wives, deacons wives all of Mount Olive uh, friends of Mount Olive those who are tuning in and maybe have to tune in later it's a good day. Amen. Uh, despite things that's going on, God is still God. Yeah. Uh, and he has all power, heaven and earth in his hand. Uh -huh. And I know that sometimes it, it can be trouble. Uh -huh. uh, but God never slumber nor sleeps. Uh -huh. yeah. I understand where they talk about uh, when I was growing up here and saying and talk to him in the midnight hour. Uh -huh. uh, because you can talk to him yeah. in the midnight hour. Uh -huh. I, uh, I won't be before you long this morning, but I have a word uh, from God. And it's really different than I normally do, but I have to follow God's instruction. Yes, sir. So if I ask you to turn with me, if you have your copy of God's Word, I'm reading from the King James Version, uh, the 19th number of Psalms. Uh, and it's only 14 verses, and I'm reading from just that 14th verse. Uh, and I know you know it very well. We, we actually a lot of times close out with it you find it, you find these words. Let the words of my mouth uh -huh. and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. Uh, just for a moment this morning, I want to talk to you about a prayer for good conduct. Okay. Prayer for good conduct. Uh, the 19th number of Psalm 14 verse, if you read them all, uh, it's actually different than the rest of the verses. Uh, the Psalmist David here has what looks like a prayer request concerning his conduct. Uh, I know in the military, and I'm sure it's military wide, uh, we have what you call a, a military band. Uh -huh. There's a certain way you're supposed to conduct yourself. Uh -huh. Well, as a child of God, there's a certain way we should conduct ourselves. Uh -huh. There's a certain way we ought to think, a certain way we ought to act, and a certain way we should speak. Uh -huh. uh, now we pray for many things and we all have things that we pray about or whatever situation in our lives may be different. Uh, but do we ever pray for good conduct? All right. Do we ever pray for good thoughts? Do uh, we ever pray for what comes out of our mouths which can come from our hearts? Uh -huh. uh, 19 normal song verse 14 as I looked at it and I of course seen it before and read it many times it, it, it is almost a, it illuminated to me that that uh, it ought to be on our lips and in our hearts every day uh -huh. uh, looking at it it ought to be something that we 
look at and live by every day, all day. The psalmist in this text is requesting, praying for good conduct. Uh, he's concerned about his thoughts. Mm -hmm. He's concerned about his heart. Mm -hmm. He's concerned about which in turn what comes out of his mouth. Mm -hmm. So he's concerned even about his speech. All right. That what the words that he say. Well, there's three things I want to present to you this morning and, and I'll be out of the way. The, the first thing we see the humility in his prayer. Mm -hmm. He said, let the words, which some translations say may, but let the words, the psalmist is asking the Lord to do something for him that he can't pull off for himself. All right. All right. See, there's some things in our life mm -hmm. that we try to do ourselves. All right. We done tried every avenue. We done approached it from the left and from the right, yeah. from behind and from the front, uh -huh. from the bottom and from the top, and we still can't get it right because it's actually out of our hands because we are limited in our resources, but God is the source, and so he's not limited at all. So the psalmist here is asking to do something that he can't pull off for himself. See, there's some people that we are trying to change, mm -hmm. but we can't change them ourselves. He's going to have to be left up to God. Come on, man. We came at them in a, in a, in a kind way. Uh -huh. Then we come at them in a forceful way. Come on, we come at them in an intellectual way. Come on, then we come at them with a little bit of slang and lingo to come them, on, and it still won't change none of them. Because it's all in God's hand, yes, and we got to turn it over to him. Yes, you preach it, you preach it, so the psalmist, he knew. David knew it was something he couldn't do himself. Uh -huh. That he was going to have to have some help. Uh -huh. You know, see, sometimes we might be able to do it half a day. Yeah. But then somebody come along and get us off course. Yeah. Or a problem come along and get us off course. Yeah. And then it's going to mess us up the rest of the day. So the psalmist here is asking, now I can do it sometime. I may be able to do it all day Monday. But I might have some problems come Tuesday. So I got to pray that God will uh, 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 have my heart right. Which in result also affect my mind. And then as an end result, we come out with good words. Something that's acceptable to God. The prayer expresses the passion mm -hmm. of his heart to please yeah. God. Mm -hmm. Do we have a passion this morning yeah. that we want to please God? Mm -hmm. Is that the first thing on our checklist? Or is it the last thing on our checklist Come on now. that we want to please God? Mm -hmm. The psalmist here, he, he, he's requesting, he's praying for good conduct mm -hmm. in two important areas of his life. And I'm here to say it also should be two important areas in our lives as well. Because uh -huh. he said, the words, let the words of my mind. Uh -huh. See, first he's looking at the area of his mind. Uh -huh. He said, I read where the average person speaks more than 7,000 words a day. Uh -huh. and, 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 and I'm sure there's some that Talking a lot more than that. Come on, they, they, they brought it up in the 14,000 <laughs> or even more than that. But, but they say that's on the average that a person speaks more than 7,000 words a day. Uh -huh. Jesus even said in Matthew 12 and 34, yeah. Oh, generations of life, uh -huh. how can ye, being evil, uh -huh. speak, good speak good things? For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth uh -huh. speak. So the psalmist was looking at this important area. First, he wanted to deal with the mouth, or in other words, deal with his speech, his words that he said. Uh -huh. See, it's not hard for careless words uh -huh. to tumble out of the heart, which will come out and hurt somebody else. Uh -huh. It's not easy, I mean, it's not hard for careless words to tumble out of the heart, uh -huh. which comes out of the mouth uh -huh. and to discourage somebody else. Come on, See, you ever been around 
people who don't have nothing good to say about anybody. That's right. That's right. They can ask about somebody, you can tell them what well, they're doing well now. Mm -hmm. And they still got something negative to say about them. Right. Uh -uh. Right. They don't ever have nothing good to say about anybody. Right. Uh -uh. As if they have never done anything. Oh, yeah. Or if God if, can't ever change somebody else's heart. Right. Uh -uh. Right. They don't ever have nothing good to say. Right. And, 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 and we need to be encouraged, not discouraged. Yeah. Yes, sir. See, I've been on both the receiving end and the giving end. Come on, preacher. Careless words. Yes, sir. Uh, I done had it brought to me, and I done gave out careless words. Yes, Amen. I don't know about you, but I can say it on myself. Or oh, I've said some things that hurt some folks that I shouldn't have said in the first place. But I've also been hurt by others that said some things that they should shouldn't have seen. Yeah. So we ought to be careful in what we say. Yes, and we ought to look at this particular uh, uh, verse in the 19 number of Psalms uh -huh. and pray that our mind and our hearts uh -huh. will get together and come out with good words uh -huh. to say about somebody. Yes, sir. Come on. Yes, sir. Come on, come on preacher. Come on. Right where you put on. Yes, sir. See, I don't know about you, but I need the 19th number of Psalms. Hey, come on now. In verse 14. Hey, yes, sir. I, 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 I need it. I'm looking at it. I need it uh, in my life. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, I need a prayer that stands guards around my lips. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, you can find that in one of the 41st number of Psalms. Yes, sir. Uh, he said, let the words of my mouth. Uh -huh. In other words, I, if, if you be real with yourself, uh -huh. our tongues need some improvement. Yes, sir. Amen. Uh, uh, look like we all uh, carry around a tongue depressor with us sometimes. Yes, sir. Uh, or to keep us from saying things we shouldn't say. Yes, sir. Uh, 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 the mouth spew out things not of God. Uh -huh. From morning to the evening. Uh -huh. In the other words, they're saying things that shouldn't be said. Uh -huh. But from that beginning of the day to the end of that night. And that we need to ask God for forgiveness. Yes, sir. See, James 3 and 6 said, the tongue is a fire. Yes, sir. A world of iniquity. Yes, sir. Iniquity meaning unjust and wrong. Yes, sir. It's what the tongue is. Mm -hmm. And that we can say some things that's not of God. Mm -hmm. But you know, a good tongue or good speech is a benefit for everyone. Yes, sir. See, sometimes uh, a person just needs some encouraging words. And you can find it in scripture. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 some people just need you to say something that's encouraging to them. Because they always heard someone saying something negative to uh -huh. them in their life. Yes, sir. Or maybe they had that day things didn't go their way. Uh -huh. but, 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 but we shouldn't jump on them. We should be ready to encourage them. Yes, sir. See, I've heard someone say you can change the world by changing your words. Yes, sir. And see, words can be constructive or it can be destructive. Uh -huh. You can take dynamite and, and blow some things up, but you can also use it to clear some things out. Yes, sir. So yes, you got to be careful in how you place your words, just like you do uh, with dynamite. Yes, sir. Uh, well, A, we talked about an important aspect in life he pulled up about was his mouth well also he talks about the heart uh -huh. which both relates to us the mouth and the heart is important to us even in this time yes, uh, uh, he said and the, and the meditation of my heart yes, be acceptable in thy sight yes, see the psalmist isn't just concerned uh, is, is justly concerned about his thoughts uh -huh. see I, 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 I remember and I hadn't forgot it one day I got up and, 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 and we were we were in the northern part of Iraq, which was, at, at that point, was a, 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 one of the worst places you could be. Uh -huh. And I got up and I looked around and all I saw was weapons and ammunition. Uh -huh. and, I, and I remember praying and I saw how my, 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 uh, uh, my body armor had, I had grenades lined up going across my chest. And I, and I thought about it and I prayed to God to keep my mind in the other's mind yes, sir. because we could e we were easily off of thinking about God uh -huh. and I, I was careful to make sure and pray that our mind stay on him. Uh -huh. The meditation of the heart controls the words of the mind. Yes, 
Yes, See, the definition of meditation is mentally clear and emotional calm in a stable state. Yes, sir. See, it's like the alignment for tires on, on a vehicle. Mm -hmm. See, alignments keep the vehicle from drifting, mm -hmm. either from the left or to the right. Mm -hmm. See, the word meditation here has an image of a musician plucking the strings of a harp mm -hmm. who controls the music of your heart this morning. Yes, sir. Is it God or is it not of God? Come on, meditation is to the heart what digestion is to the body. Yes, sir. It's the taking in of the word of God, making it part of your inner being. Mm -hmm. As the heart and mind think on the word all day long, mm -hmm. then the spirit guides our life. Yes, sir. This is what it means to walk with the spirit in Galatians 5 and 16. Yeah. See, we may not be what we think we are. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and some people put themselves on a pedestal over other people. Yes, and they may look down on them. Mm -hmm. But I always say, don't mistake brashness for boldness. Come on, because there's a difference in that. Mm -hmm. See, we may not be what we think we are, yeah. but we are what we think. Yes, Matter of fact, Proverbs 23 yes, and 7 say, a man's thinking in his heart, yes, so is he. Yes, See, we need to pray yes. for sanctified thought life yes, in our conduct today uh -huh. is to be acceptable to God. Uh -huh. See, the world and the word, word both start with the same letter. Uh -huh. But that's the end of the light. Uh -huh. Because the world provokes us to evil thoughts. Uh -huh. The word prompts us to holy thoughts. Yes, sir. Well, I said that the first thing that we see the humility in his prayer, but secondly, we see the standard in his prayer. Yes, sir. Uh, he said, acceptable in thy sight, mm -hmm. O Lord. Notice how modest David was in his prayer. Mm -hmm. Not asking to be world renowned, not asking to be the best, not asking to be the best of the best, mm -hmm. not asking to, to stand out or shine, mm -hmm. but the prayer is merely that the inner life and the outer expression mm -hmm. will be acceptable to God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See, too many are worried about being on the sign board on, and worried about their names traveling across the land mm -hmm. and, and rather being acceptable to God. See, I'd rather be acceptable to him for nobody even know my name. Yes, sir. See, that it will, it, it will pass the test of acceptability Come on. and bring joy to God. Yes, sir. See, there's a standard that is set here, and the standard is the Lord. Mm -hmm. If not uh, what is acceptable in our current society, but it's it was acceptable before God. Preach. See, God's standard of conduct is much higher than man's standard. Yes, sir. Man's standard is already low. Mm -hmm. And if you look around, it, it's like our society is on a decline mm -hmm. in our standard of living. Mm -hmm. See, sin has become so acceptable okay. that if you speak against it, people get angry at yeah. it. Then they really, they start saying that you're the evil one. Yeah. And you're trying to tell them what they're doing is not of God. And if you're a believer, then you're wrong. That's not what the word of God says. Uh -huh. So it, it, it's gotten, uh, 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 sin has become just that acceptable. The psalmist is praying that his conduct would be high, holy, and noble. Yes, sir. See, you may be acceptable for me, but that may not be, you may not be acceptable before God. Come on, in, in other words, People are trying to get the acceptance from man mm -hmm. rather than the acceptance from God. Mm -hmm. See, I'm not trying to make man happy, but I'm trying to make God happy. Yes, sir. And if I do what he does yes, say, sir. then it, all of that will come around and then some others would become to be saved. Some others would be, be stronger than what they were. Mm -hmm. the, the word of God would get out come on, mm -hmm. in the way we're supposed to leave. Mm -hmm. See, it's in inverted order. Mm -hmm. And that lies the problem. Mm -hmm. See, we are the salt of the earth. Mm -hmm. And being the salt of the earth means being a better influence on the world mm -hmm. and the people around us. Oh. But we shouldn't be looking to be just accepted by man. Mm -hmm. But we should be looking to be acceptable before God. Yes, sir. Well, thirdly, 
we first we saw the the uh, 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 humility in his prayer. We saw the standard in his prayer, and thirdly and last, we see God in his prayer. Yes, sir. He said, "Oh Lord, my strength uh -huh. and my redeemer." Yes, sir. See, God is described in twofold way here. Mm -hmm. He said, "My strength." Mm -hmm. yes, sir. God can give us strength. Yes, sir. Yeah. To live a holy life. Come on, brother. Uh, 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 I don't know about you now. You can get to a certain point where your strength just won't last. Come on, now. And a lot of times we look. I, I, I understand what they say. He's a leaning post. Yes, sir. Because you can lean on God. Because yes, sometimes we get weak on this journey. Yes, sir. But God never gets weak. Uh -huh. And he gives us strength to carry on. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, in Philippians 4 and 13, Paul said it best. He said, I can do all things yes, sir. through Christ who strengthens me. Yeah. Paul, as a matter of fact, went on and, and said at the beginning of 2 Timothy 4 and 17, notwithstanding, uh -huh. the Lord stood with me yes, sir. and strengthened me. Yes, sir. See, God strengthened him in such a way. Uh -huh. Remember, Paul, he prayed for a blanket uh -huh. because he wasn't going anywhere. Uh -huh. He was content to where he was going to stay. Uh -huh. He prayed for a book uh -huh. that showed his craving for the truth. Uh -huh. And he also prayed for boldness, uh -huh. which showed his desire to preach the gospel regard. Uh -huh. In other words, God gave him strength, uh -huh. even in his time of need, where it seemed like it was over with, uh -huh. that God gave him strength. Yes, See, strength can also be translated as rock. Yes, See, God's strength is like a mighty rock uh -huh. that rescues us and gives us a firm standing place. Uh -huh. And he also said, my strength and my redeemer. Yes, sir. This speaks of salvation, on, which actually comes before strength. Yes, sir. Right. If we get salvation, we're saved, yes, sir. and God will continue to give us strength yes, sir. Right. through our life. Yes, See, the word translated redeemer involves a price. Yes, sir. It yes, means sir. a ransom, yes, that we know that Jesus paid the ultimate price. Yes, sir. Right. See, before there was a sinner, there was a savior. Yes, sir. And before there was guilt, there was grace. Before there was punishment of death, there was the promise of life. Before there was a hell, there was a heaven. See, Jesus came down wrapped in the flesh. He came at the age of 12, he said, I must be about my father's business. And he went on and healed the sick and he gave sight to the blind. And they, 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 they took him and they, they dragged him from Judgment Hall to Judgment Hall. And they put him with a nine-tailed whip. Uh -huh. And they put him up on the cross. Uh -huh. They put him between two thieves. Uh -huh. And he said, now no man will take my life, but I lay it down. And if I lay it down, I'll pick it up again. And while he hung there from the sixth to the ninth hour, the world began to rock and reel like a drunken man. But while he was there, they took him down and they put him in a borrowed tomb. And on the third day morning, Jesus rolled up with all power in heaven and earth in his name. And he stepped on a cloud and he went on back to glory. But one of these days, Jesus is coming back. Yes, I think Paul said that, yes, that, that, that life is quicker than a weaver's shuttle. Yes, so we only here for a little while. Yes, so after a while, we're going to leave yes, this place. Yes, and what is your conduct today? Do you have a good conduct today? Yes, or are you acting unlike what a Christian should ought to act? We know that none of us are perfect, but we can pray to God that he would change our mind, keep our minds straight from veering from the left or to the right, keep our hearts right where we won't think of ill things, and then our mouth will come out some good things to say rather than the bad. What is your conduct today? Are you trying to live a better life? Mm -hmm. Are you trying to do, be acceptable to God? Yes, sir. Or are you trying to get man's acceptance? Mm -hmm. yes, sir. Yes, sir. If you don't know Jesus and pardon your sin, All right, huh? you can be saved. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And you can come today. The doors of the church are open. Yes, sir. You might be watching from here. Uh -huh. uh, but we know God is omnipresent. Yes, sir. He's everywhere. And not only everywhere, at the same time. Yes, sir. Uh, 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 that's just how powerful he is. Yes, sir. I've seen some saved uh, out in the desert. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I've seen some baptized on ships. Yes, sir. Seen some baptized even in a, 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 a bucket of a, of a bulldozer. Yes, sir. Right. Amen. Amen. And God 
is worthy to be prayed. And if you don't know him today, you can come by letter candidate, baptism, or Christian experience, or some that out of fellowship before was going on with the pandemic. Uh, God knows about it. Yes, sir. And you can ask for forgiveness today. Uh, those of the church are open. Amen. Yes, Lord. Uh,
Amen. Amen. We certainly thank Reverend Porter for blessing us with that word today. Amen. We thank uh, him for allowing God to use him Amen. in a mighty way today. We Amen. thank Pastor for blessing us in the song. We thank the musicians for blessing us by playing for those that are here in the fellowship hall that are worshiping with us, that are working alongside of us. Those that are viewing, wherever you're viewing from, we thank you for spending this time with us today. Good conduct. And as the, the, the minister was speaking, I thought about when we're in the military, after we do four years and we don't get in any trouble, we get a good conduct award. Yes, well, I'm here to tell you, if we're able to continue to live this life and don't get in any trouble that God can't keep us out of, we'll get a good conduct award when we get to heaven. Amen. 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 It'll be, be some good trouble. Yes. <laughs> amen. Get in some good trouble. Yes, but your good conduct award will be the crown that is laid up for you in heaven. Yours may have some stars in it, it may not, but as long as you get your crown, it's yours, and can't nobody take it from you, amen? So we're gonna continue to send up some timbers every day. Again, we thank you for spending this time with us here at Mount Olive Missionary Baptist Church. Again, my name is James Henry, one of the associate ministers here. We thank you all for being with us as we are now preparing to close out in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time that you allow for us to be in your presence. God, we thank you for emptying us of self and filling us up with your Holy Spirit. God, we ask right now that you continue to revive us, renew us, guard our hearts, Heavenly Father, as we are preparing to go out into a lost and dying world. God, allow us to trust, depend, and lean on you so we can have good conduct in front of men. God, for you told us to let our light shine before men so that they will see our Father which is in heaven and he can be glorified through our work. So God, we just thank you right now, asking that you continue to have your way in this land. Bless all those that are sick, those that are affected with the disease, COVID-19, God, but not just by COVID. If they're experiencing any type of health challenges, heartache, Heavenly Father, heart blood, high blood pressure, diabetes, God, whatever it is, God, touch them right now. For we know you to be a healer and a surgeon or a doctor that has never lost a patient. So, God, we just thank you and ask that you have your way right now in the mighty name of Jesus as we give you all glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' mighty name, let every heart say amen. 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 Amen and amen. God bless you and thank you for being with us today.